Does it work? 24 hours in vinegar tank, totally submerged. Little bit there, I'm gonna do it again. There, and this is what it looked like before, because I had two of these. So this is technically before and after. Seems to work. Look here, here is kind of an end product of something. This is uh, not bad considering it sat outside for close to 20 years. It looked like this when I took it out of the tank or the vinegar bath. You can see there's some pretty bad rust in here. That's another one that was 20 years. So let's clean it up and see what happens. So, so far looking uh, pretty dandy, considering what it looked like before. There's still some Definitely some rough spots on it, but not bad. So let me show you the tank before I shut this off and forget. All right, so that's the uh, vinegar bath I was building. And that's got about seven gallons of vinegar in it, as you can kind of see and uh, 13 feet long. I should have made it a little longer, but I goofed up. Oh, well, and then I can pull this over. And here's some of my other stuff. That's just a different color primer. So they've uh, turned out real nice with that mill scale, a little bit of rust on it. And then I showed you these two earlier. That's one of them that's been primed now. That was sitting around for 20 plus years or more. There's the last piece in there. And I think I have a few pieces of angle iron in here. So I'm going to Clean that up. And then I think that will do it. Oh, one other little piece of flat bar. All this has been setting in my uh, area where I just don't throw steel out, except for those, those were brand new and then I just Strip the mill scale with that. Um, I, I guess it's part of a receiver. And those two out there on the bed of my truck are over 20 years old, been sitting around not taking care of it all. So you can see the bath works great. And then I just cover it up so it doesn't evaporate as fast. And that way it sets in there and just. Uh, eats that off. So that is the end of my vinegar bath. I sprayed it with some gray, um, I don't know what it is called. I guess that rubber coating stuff. So there you have it. This room needs a little more work. I'm going to put some more of the hardy backer on the floor and on the walls so when I'm welding in here um, nothing catches fire that's 120 year old wood so you know I don't want that catching fire so here's the uh, inside of the, the barn I think you've seen that I leveled up this side with these posts and took one of the posts out there and made it a triple beam. 
Sounds like a drug dealer. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye bye. Oh, let me say, uh, hopefully uh, you liked what I did here with the uh, vinegar bath and some of the stuff I'm working on. And uh, if you liked it, definitely share these three videos on building that vinegar bath for mill scale removal and any of the other DIY things. You know, sharing is great. Hitting the like and, and subscribing is also very cool. So here's to doing that for you. I appreciate it. And I save that for the end because I hate when people go, hey, if you like this video, click share and like. Well, I haven't watched the video yet. You know, and just like me and every other influencer or whatever you want to call us, you know, one video could be bad and one's good. So I got to get to the end of it before I click save and like. So that's my thoughts. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye. We made too many compromises already, too many retreats. We invade our space and we fall back. I'm your Huckleberry. The line must be drawn here. This far, no further. That's just my game.